as a child growing up, my father was able to extend a helping hand to the needy in the community. After harvest, he sells his produce with old women who were on their own. I got my motivation through my experience as a son of a farmer. The name of my project is Tesson Farmers Project, which literally means let's help farmers. This project is undertaken at the Dafiema Buse Isa district of the Upper West Region of Ghana, forests among all regions in the country. In the district, we have over 90% of the total population being farmers. Out of this 90%, over 80 are subsistence farmers. Just from hand to mouth. Whatever they produce at the end of the year is just for home consumption. And even this scale of farming is not able to sustain these farmers beyond three months after harvest. And majority of them are women. You can imagine the level of food insecurity we will have. Tyson farmers targeted these women to improve their living standard and their ability to take care of the household. So the project aimed at introducing farmers to benchmark agronomic practices to increase their yield. During my CCR period, several of my instructors motivated me to really apply the knowledge I acquired so that my community will benefit from the knowledge I've also obtained. I took up this challenge to help my people. So I had $250 from it and supported with my own savings I made from the stipend given to me. So I was able to start this Farms project. Now we want to look at how we can prevent the adult move. I was privileged to be enrolled in so many practical oriented classes that were applicable to my country. Example, my soil science class where my professor had a clear understanding of our climate, was able to introduce me to several techniques in identifying nutrient deficiencies, such as this pictorial designs. We train these farmers with the use of pictures. We have the signs and symptoms of the three major nutrients when the nutrient is lacking, how the plant will behave. I designed this project to conduct demonstration plots. We then separated the plots and several treatments were made, both on maize, sorghum and soya. Other cultural practices like weeding, when you are not able to weed on the, at the required time, it definitely will have an effect on your yield. We need to introduce these farmers to the technologies bit by bit. So the first one is precision planting and crop rotation and crop management. Before my project, farmers used to plant haphazardly. The first round, men was doing uh, more farming than the women. But due to this training, we see to it that women too can do better. Every woman was to try and see with their trials to when they try, they get. My internship was top-notch experience where I was given the room to apply what I learned in classroom on the field, such as crop water management, where I got that technology by constructing the bonds. Water conservation was also part of last year's project demonstration. We constructed bonds like a ridge across the field and across various plots so as it will be able to contain the water uh, when it rains. So the other techniques are crop management, time of weeding, fertilizer application, pest and disease control. So we do that to create that demonstration effect for the farmers to understand and make their own judgments that when you do this, this is the outcome. This on farmers is hoping that we can replicate these demonstrations to other communities in the near future. So as Upper West Region and Ghana can attain food security 
as a sustainable development goal. Before, these farmers were not able to produce enough for their consumption. But through my project, these women are able to produce enough that they can reserve some for the home consumption and at least something to sell to take care of their health bills, their school fees, including and other needs. But now we are seeing it to be a good thing for us. We got an impact and I'm so proud.